Hey, quilters, I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica, AccuQuilts Creative Expert. Happy Earth Day to us yes. today. It's exciting. Welcome to today's special event called Celebrate Success. Today, Eric and I will be sharing fun project ideas and inspiration for gifts to give to the graduates in your life. It's that time of year. That's right. Graduation season is almost upon us, and we want to make sure that you're covered. As always, we've planned a lot of fun for you. We've got some great prizes and some really exciting project ideas. So let's begin with today's special bundles and deals. Now, to get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR image. It will take you right to the site. And if you don't have a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com party to go to the site and place your order. That way, you're not going to miss a minute of the show. Quilters, all the bundles we've released this month with the launch of the Go Bird and Bird House, Go Goose Track Style, mm -hmm. one of my favorites, are available at their special introductory price. We also have time-saving Go Tree of Life Dye bundles available at their intro pricing. Yes, I love that block and I can't imagine cutting it by Oh hand. no, 73 pieces, right? <laughs> That's right. The first bundle that we've got for you today is that Go Tree of Life die with the 10 by 24 cutting mat. Now this bundle is valued at $184, but you can get it today for just $149.99. It's going to save you over $33, and it's such a classic block. When you it think is. about old qu antique quilts, this is the block that comes to mind. Right, and uh, we did a little discovery yesterday and realized if you wanted to make that you'd need up to eight dies yes because it's there's just so many great shapes on it yes so it makes a 14 inch finished block so up next is our go block on board favorites 14 inch die bundle you receive the go tree of life which finishes to 14 inches the go bears paw and prairie star both of those finish to 14 inches the 10 by 24 cutting mat and a 6 by 24 cutting mat now this bundle is valued at $415, but you can add it to your collection today for $329 and some change, saving you over $84. Now, if you missed our launch party, there are some great yes. inspiration, right? The pillow, the pillow that and, Amanda made. And then that quilt that used the yes. prairie star with the bear's paw. So if you missed Tuesday's show, be sure you pull it up on YouTube yeah. or on our Facebook page and, and watch it. it. Some great inspiration. Yep. Well, quilters, you can also take $200 off the Ready, Set, Go or the Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter with the promo code CUT200. Now, only one code can be used per order, but you can place as many orders as you want. Yes, there's no order police. That's right. right. And the Go Big Cutter we use every single day. Every day. Every day. And you'll get a free Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set when you spend $400 or more. No code is needed to redeem this offer. Our warehouse team will just simply put one in your cart, in your box. That's right. Great. You can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, just check out the store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. Well, now pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. Because that's what we all want to do is yes. quilt now. Right now, today, <laughs> this very moment. All right, quilters, let's kick off our guide to celebration with some projects that would oh. be great for anyone, especially those high school graduates. So we're going to talk about high school graduates yes. and college. We have so many project ideas, starting with the Go Behind the Door Wall Hanging Storage Organizer by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. So you wanna talk about this, Erica? Yes, this is such a clever idea and it's all made with strip dies, the four and a half inch and the six and a half inch cut strip dies to be specific. Now this is something that would be great for anyone and you could make it in favorite colors, colors of the school they're heading to. Right. And she's used that old oil cloth Yes. Um, vinyl coated fabric, so you could have it for shower things. It's right. not going to get damaged if it gets wet. Right. You could hang it on the back of the door. It's it would... a really great organizer for shoes and all of the other stuff, socks and things. Yes, that you just all kinds of things. Different sizes of pockets. It's just really versatile yeah. and fun. I really like it. And these little clippies um, are really great because you and I use these all the time. Oh, we use them to hang quilts and yeah. all kinds of things. Just really curtains. easy to use, yes. All my curtains. All the curtains have them. <laughs> all right, our next project is something that would be great for grads or really anyone. And this is the cute little adorable um, Go Save Your Spot bookmark. So right here, 
Here's one right here. There's here. one too. Yep. So these are super easy. I made a bunch of them here. I'll lay it down so you can see. Um, I just used um, shape one and three from the eight inch cube. Yes. And what it's going to do is it's just going to fit right here in the corner mm -hmm. so you can keep your books so you don't have to turn down your pages. Yep, there you I go. I just think it's great. And I love that it's so fast and easy. I made a whole bunch of them. Um, these are for my good friend Logan, so because his family goes to Michigan. <laughs> um, but they're great because you could pop them in the, uh, an envelope and right, just mail them. Right, right. And I thought it would be fun to get like a bookstore gift card. Yes, yes, it would be great for that. Something else to so do. So that way it's not just a gift card. It's something handmade. And, right. Or pop it in with a book. If there's a book that you're getting, right. them, put right. it inside the book or yeah. on the edge. These are great. And I'm a big bookmark person. Yes. Yes, I do not turn pages down, do you? No, I don't turn pages yeah. down. And if I don't have bookmarks handy, then I do things like you know, stick, <laughs> stick other things that probably shouldn't be stuck in there. Oh, so. yeah. You should probably not do that. Yes. But never, never, never do you turn down the page. Sorry, never, librarian's ever. daughter. Never. Okay. Now, our next project. This is super fun. You want this cute. one. These are the Go Scrappy Tablet Seed Sleeves. Now, these are by Ellen Alt of Handmade 3D. And it's made with, look at this. The Go Crazy Quilt 6-inch finish die. Look at how fun this is. So she made blocks and sewed them together. And then just put this to... nice heavy-duty Velcro on it. Right, so you could put your iPad in there or yeah. your tablet in there. I just think these are great. And I love that she quilted it. It's really thick. Yes, it's nice and thick. It would protect it. You know, you can stick it then in your backpack or yep. your, your messenger bag and not yep. worry about it. She put a year on here. I, again, with the Michigan colors. Again, good job. <laughs> Go, Michigan. All right, so this is our three-inch Carefree Alphabet. Yes. Right? So you could do any, you could put somebody's name on there, you know, or the school or whatever you would like to do. Right. But again, really lightweight. Yes. And that's yes. the thing is I feel like sometimes when you have a kid in college, you know, mail, snail mail is what they love. Right, right. They love to get it. And this would be super easy to stick into a padded envelope and mail it off to a graduate or yes. to have it to mail to them as a little surprise, a little happy sometime when they're in college. Just really cool. And these are the three inch care free numbers <laughs> numbers that go along with, with the alphabet imagine that all right so this is the die that we use to make these oh here erica just for you i pinned you pinned i did see pins are so important they are all right so this is our crazy quilt block yes our die and it's on a 10 by 10 die board it is perfect for layer cakes it is so if you have layer cakes just hanging out in your stash um we have a tip for you Normally you can cut six layers of cotton, but how many would you cut with this? Five. Five. This there works best with five. So there are so many, many blades. blades. And then it's easier to um, distribute your pieces. Right, right. And then right here, this is the finished block. Yes. And you would sew them together to create the project. So here's our other tip. This is what we call a directional shape. Yes. So you want all your fabric facing up. Yeah, don't fan right. fold, you'll be slapped. Right, and you wanna find that lengthwise grain nice and tight. So here's that nice and tight lengthwise grain. I love this fabric. I know, I have some more at home, I can get you some. I really like that. We might make some other projects with it. We might. Okay, and I'm just finding that lengthwise grain. We're just gonna cut mm -hmm. four layers today. But see, look, that stretch, that's not yeah. what you want. You want it you nice want and it tight. You want it nice and tight, yep. Because as it goes through the cutter, it's gonna pull. And that's gonna give you your best cut. Right. And for sure quilters, you wanna use a 10 by 10 cutting mat. Don't think in your quilting head, oh, I can use my 10 by 24. Right. Because what's gonna happen is it's going to pull as it goes through the cutter. Yes, you don't want that. This die will fit in your go or your go big. We're gonna use our go big today. How come, Erica? Because we can. We can. Because if you can cut with the push of a button, why wouldn't you, right? Every day. <laughs> Okay, give it a little love because it is staticky. It is so humid outside in Nebraska. It is humid today. outside, yes. Okay, so we're going to slide this off. I was quite surprised when I walked outside this morning. Were you not surprised? Oh, so surprised. Yesterday it was, it was so foggy, I couldn't see across the street. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to just really carefully peel these back. There you go. Now, sometimes, Erica, we might have one thread. And yep. We have these great um, Karen K. Buckley scissors. Oh, I'm just gonna I do love these scissors. There's two sizes them. of them. Just get both. They're fabulous. Yeah, I'm just going to cut the one string. 
and we're just gonna pull it off. I use these scissors every single day, I love them. So um, Oakley was at the house the other day and I was cutting with them and she said, Lola, you have new scissors. And I said, yes, I do. Yes, don't touch them. Yeah, don't touch them. They're only, <laughs> they are crazy sharp. They are, they're only for fabric. So see right there, I got that one little string. Yep. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. So these are the shapes and how it comes on the die. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna shuffle the fabric, right? Right. And then it will make a crazy block. There, right. we'll put that little purpley there. So now there is an order in which to sew these. Yes. So what I did was I um, stacked all my pieces so I knew that you know this was all of shape G. Mm -hmm. And then what I did was I cut the whole layer cake. Okay. Four or five layers at a time, right? Okay. It has usually 40 layers. And then I started with this section. Okay. So I sewed all 40 oh, of, okay. this B of that B to C. And then I added A. You want to press your seams open? Yes, because otherwise you're going to build up a lot of bulk underneath right. there. Right. Where you've got some of these intersections. Right. And once I started doing it in that way, mm -hmm. it just goes together so fast. So fast. So I was able to sew all my little 40 blocks super fast. Great. All right, I love so that. this is a fun die. That is. All right. So the next project, let me grab the next one for us, Pam. We have so many good things over we here. We do. We do. All right. This is a definite must have, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> now, this project are bowl cozies. And okay, you could make one or two or six. Okay, for the graduate. Right. Think about late nights in the dorm. Maybe you're gonna make ramen. Yep, <laughs> um, popcorn. Popcorn, snacks, all of those kind of things. So um, you need the Go Big electric fabric cutter to yes. cut with this die. And then you need Wrap and Zap, which is the batting inside. Yes. And you can put it in the microwave. Yes, so everything you use when you make these needs to be 100% cotton, and that includes yeah. your thread. Exactly. So this is not where you want to be using that fun metallic fabric, no. right? No, not at all. Because you don't want anybody getting zapped when yes. they put it in the microwave. And this one is fun for footballs and stuff. And the tip is to take one piece of fabric and yep. one piece of batting, run it through the go big, do the others, and then you're just gonna chain piece. You're gonna put these little X's right here. You're gonna here. chain piece your little X's, then yep. you're gonna go back, chain piece your little darts, and then you're just gonna chain piece them together. We have lots of videos on how to we make these. We do, we do. We made lots of videos, and I just think they're super cute. And do you not have a whole stack of these at your house? Yes, and you know what? They are also really easy to add to a gift basket. Right. Add to the add in that ramen. Add in some popcorn, popcorn and M Ms and fun. all kinds of the good stuff. Um, another and mail it. Another thing our little uh, people at our house do is they put cereal bowls. Yes. In here because so, um, we have messy cereal eaters. Okay, yes. 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 And then it's just here, and then you can wash them. Christopher's a messy everything eater. <laughs> ice <laughs> cream. They're good for ice cream oh, too. Oh yes, it's getting that. So time you don't of have year. to complain about your hands getting cold. Yeah. I don't complain when I eat ice cream, but no. some people do. Some people do. How about a seat cushion for game days? If not for the grad, maybe for the grad's proud mama. Yes. <laughs> um, I call these uh, tushy cushies. That's right. Now, this is the Go Bleacher Seat, otherwise known as the tushy cushy, yes. made by one of our experts when we launched the Go Sports Medley die. Now, it's made using the two and a half inch strip die, and it's decorated with the Go Sports Medley die, but you could absolutely decorate it with another applique shape or sport if you wanted right. to. Right. Now, that Go Sports Medley die, you can use those shapes with our embroidery to make so many great shapes. So, you can take that, that basic circle and turn it into a soccer ball, a basketball, a volleyball. A volleyball. Yes. We're big on volleyball in the state of Nebraska. Yes, here's football, go Huskers. It, did, did they have the red, they already had the spring yeah, game. Yeah, they right? already had spring games a Look couple weeks ago. This is fun. Basketball is great and the volleyball is great. These are for purchase um, from our good friends at V-Stitch. They're mm -hmm. on our website. And then here's the little baseball. That'll go with the baseball glove. And we got a tennis ball. Yes, all of those things. All of those things. So, so this is a really fun um, die just to get all of those sports themes that you can. But you could also use flowers or so many of our Gnomes. applique shapes. Gnomes. All Gnomes those go things. with everything, right? Gnomes. Yes, they're sports. <gasps> we should have, hey V-Stitch, will you make like a baseball player gnome and a oh, basketball player gnome, gnome. and oh, a football player 
or gnome? gnome. Okay, I like Stitch it. will work on that. I like it. Okay, quilters, are you getting inspired yet for celebration gifts? We have got so many more ideas up our sleeves. That's right, Pam, but simply wouldn't be an AccuQuilt giveaway celebration without, whoops, I gave it away. A giveaway. An AccuQuilt celebration without a giveaway. giveaway. So today we're gonna give away a go two inch classic alphabet uppercase die set, set die, there we go. To the lucky <laughs> viewer who registered for today's show. Let's do. Okay, the lucky winner of a Go Classic Alphabet die is, drum roll please, Shirley A. from Glendale, Arizona. Congratulations, Congratulations. Shirley. Congratulations. That's so fun. She's going to love that. We use it all the time for personal Oh, yes. Yeah, so hey, fun. And while we're here, we should give a huge shout out to Chelsea for helping us today. Thank you for coming in, yeah, Chelsea. She's helping Thank us. Thank you, Brock, for jumping over the desk to do something different today. I know, we're a team. All right, quilters, <laughs> if you're looking for more fun and inspiration, join us every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. On Wednesday, Erica is gonna be hosting and we'll be helping you embrace your quilting curves. There you go, be sure to register for the show on our events page to be entered to win an exciting door prize. It's tons of fun. Erica's gonna have a great time. And yes. what diary are you gonna use? Cleopatra's fan. It is great, it's beautiful. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And for those of you traveling to Paducah next week for the AQS uh, Quilt Show, I will be at the Quilt in the Day booth on Thursday, April 28th at 11 a.m. Uh, be sure and come by and say hi. It'll be great. Yes, we're, we're, we're not going to be together for a couple of I, days. I'm not real I'm sure how that's going to sure work. That's gonna work. <laughs> Quilters, because today's show is all about graduation and celebrating the success of our graduates, we want to know, what is your go-to graduation gift? Now, there's no voting poll today, so let us know in the comments section wherever you stream your show. Now, I love having little handmade gifts that can be easily mailed. I'm a big mail person. Yes. I love to mail stuff. Mm -hmm. To the graduate and we have some ideas for those that we wanted to share with you like tea towels oh that's right i also like making personalized pillowcases but we'll talk about that a little later mm -hmm. so let's look at some of the fun projects that are free patterns on accuquilt.com that would make great go-to graduation gifts now we've got so many ideas for you and we're gonna start off with things for a new graduate's apartment. And I do think that a tea towel is always Love a that. great part to, place to start. Now, I, there isn't a written pattern for this, but this is using our basic embroidery yep. for the coffee cup yes. in the satin stitch, okay? Yeah, and this is our coffee and tea medley. And I feel like, right, they are all fueling on caffeine. They're all fueling so on that. So here is our free embroidery stitches. Yes. So there's the, this is the satin stitch. Right. And the motif stitch and the blanket stitch. Erica, you always have a really great tip about when to use the sta satin so stitch. So if this is something, if it's something that's going to get washed a lot, I like to use one of the thicker stitches. And that would be either the satin stitch or the motif stitch. You just want to not have a lot of fray. So those are kind of my go-tos. Yeah. If it's gonna be on something that's getting washed a lot. Otherwise for wall hangings, I really love the blanket stitch all right now these are some for purchase which mm -hmm. are super fun so look at how fun this would be you could do all sorts of fun things and then this is our um teacup yes and i love the steam and isn't the, that fun, fun little it gives it a little a little embellishment there yeah. here we go and there we go from v-stitch yes so you can do a little fussy ideas. cutting on that yeah. really fun yep so shall we cut one let's show folks how to cut okay one. let's do Okay, I'm gonna move all of our pieces here. Okay. Ooh, don't run that in your machine. <laughs> no, no. Oh don't, no. Don't Hang run on. over your alligator clip. Yes. That sounds like a song title. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> we Sorry. can make one up. <laughs> Listen, it is Friday. We're not usually here on a Friday, so you get to put up with all of our hand digs. Okay, so this is our coffee and tea medley die. Yep. And it comes with the to-go coffee cup. Yes. And here's the, what is this called? The sleeve. The sleeve, there we sleeve. go. And the lid. Top, the lid. Yes. And a teacup and a saucer. That's right. So today we're gonna just cut the sleeve and the top. I'm a, not a coffee drinker, so Erica has to school me on that. It's now, okay. Now we have pre-fused our fabric. That's right. We have tons of fusible options on our website. Mm -hmm. um, 
you can always cut six layers of cotton, but once you prefuse it, you can only cut four layers of prefuse. That's cotton. right. But a great way to like bust up your scraps. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Applique is great for using scraps. And the great thing about the Go Big is this would fit in any of our cutters, including that Go Me. So yes. if you spend $400 today, we'll give you that uh, Go Me for free. But you can actually run two six by 12 dies through. Look at that. Saving even pass. more time we are. 90% faster, but exponentially when you're cutting both of them. All right, let's take a look. You know, another great tip, you know, something else that I do is I keep a lot of my, if I have a big size oh, scrap yes. that's already fused, I hang yes. on to it in a separate scrap receptacle. I do too. Like this would be perfect yes. because if you need to cut little pieces or little eyeballs or something, that's right. already fused and ready shoes. to go. Gnome feet, yes. there you go. Yeah, all of those things. No, I'm the same way. I keep all of the pre-fused fabric. So okay. here we go. These are so cute. Look at how fun that is. Look how fun. And quick. Yeah. Quick. You could also use this to embellish a card to make a card for the graduate. Oh well, yeah. You do a lot of like things that. with that. And since most grads are fueled by coffee or tea, um, let's take a look <laughs> at a couple of other projects that would coordinate with that great tea towel. Starting with the cute mug rug. This is the Go Hot Drink Mug Rug by Bia Lee from Bia Quilter. And this one is so cute because it's a little bit longer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like you could have a cup of coffee and a muffin. Oh, yes. <laughs> right? Is that, or a cookie. Or, or a cookie or something. Yes. And then tell everybody what the steam is. because This that's is so true. clever. She used the cutout for the handle. Yeah. So when you cut out the teacup, it is going to cut the center part out. That's what this shape is, right. making the steam. Now, so clever. This mug rug is super cute because you could make it totally seasonal. This is the eight inch cube. Mm -hmm. So you could put a pumpkin here and make it for Halloween. Yeah. Or you could put a Christmas tree and make it for Christmas. Oh, yeah. All of those things. And this ones. again would be easy to mail to a graduate. Mm -hmm. Throw in a gift card for the uh, favorite coffee shop yeah. or, yeah. or at, send it to them with a mug and some oh, coffee. Yeah. What, yeah some little cups for their coffee maker, whatever. Super cute. Really fun. I like fun. this one. All right. Well, and let's face it, it might possibly be in, end up being a beer mug rug too. I think so. I mean, it just could. It could. All right, so next up we have our caffeinated thing going. Yes. With this cute, adorable wall hanging called Go Brew, Co Brew Crew Table Topper. And this one is made with a cube. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And I'm looking to see which cube Maybe is the, the 10 inch cube. The 10 inch, yep. Yeah, and the thing I love about this, Erica, is that they didn't do any embroidery other than raw edge embroidery. Right, so if you don't have an, an app, um, embroidery mm -hmm. machine, you can just do raw edge, and it adds actually a lot of character to the piece, I mm -hmm. think. And again, this is one of those patterns that could be a blank canvas for anything. Yes. You could do flowers, you could do shamrocks, you could do stars, you could do snowflakes. Right. So 10 inch cube is great because it makes those really beautiful big blocks. You could grab the sports medley back again, yes. or if you're a Pam, you could make it for Halloween. All the days. Now, if okay. you're sending a wall hanging to a graduate, or somebody who is in, going to be in an apartment, it's a great idea, or even if they're going to be in their own house, it's a great idea to include no mark hanging hooks right. that they can use to get it hung up because otherwise it might sit there for months. Months and months. Without being hung right, up on the wall. Until they come home again. Right. So, and then this one also uses three different sizes of strips. So that smaller one and a half inch strip mm -hmm. is that inner border and then the wide one is three and a half inches and then two and a half inch for the binding. I love that. I know. All right, well, let's take away, step away from the caffeine. Step away from the step caffeine. Step away from the caffeine. It's later in the day now. And talk about our strippy baskets. Now, these are a great way to help anybody stay organized. Okay, I want you to know, we did an AQ Live on this a couple yes. of years ago. I have so many strippy baskets. Yes. My, I love this size mm -hmm. because I, I do can too. throw in like scraps of fabric and thread and those kind of things. Um, when Aries was tiny little, um, we put binkies yes. here and little diapers and stuff. Yeah. And it's just the perfect size. But this one is great for like socks or towels yes. or those big things that you could kind of roll up and put right. inside. Absolutely. 
And this one uses a multi-strip die. It uses the one, one and a half, and two inch strip die. Yes, which is really fun. Yep, and you just sew them together. It goes together really easy. The inside has a stabilizer. Mm -hmm. And basically you just sew it together and then they're lined, which I think is great because look at that. Yeah, and that, that multi-strip die, that's on a six by 24 inch die board. That means it's gonna fit in any cutter, even that go me. Yeah. So think about this would be fun for the kitchen, hold napkins. Oh yeah, and you could put it, you could put some, you know, festive napkins in it. Mm -hmm. You could put, again, you could make it into a whole little gift basket with some hand towels and yeah. soap or whatever, whatever you wanted. Cat toys. That's Jason right. Jason and Emmy would talk about cat toys. Yes. All right, so we talked about mug rugs earlier, but I think the Go Peace Sign snack mats would be a really fun gift. Mm -hmm. And they are great little placemats. And I just think it's so cute because we used our cube. Right. Did we, did we use our eight inch cube? I think so. Yeah, Missy Shepler designed Missy Shepler. these with some Timeless Treasures fabric. Uh -huh. So you could use the peace sign, but you could use the sports medley. You could use flowers. Again, you could make Halloween and make um, Put bats. bats. Oh, yes, there is a die for Witches that. Witches hats and all uh -huh. kinds of things, yeah. But this would be fun for spring. You could do our spring medley or summer. And I just think they're great because they're washable. We just did straight stitching yep. on it. This has so got it a grid. It was just, and she didn't to... applique around. She just quilted over yeah. the top of them. She used some fun variegated thread on this uh -huh. one. You just really have a good time with what you do with these. Yeah, I think they're great gifts. Yep. And again, lightweight, you could throw them in the mail. Oh, yeah. Four, you know. Send a, send a whole, you know, send four, six, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that sheets make great gifts too. We all need them, right? We so, do. I also am a huge fan of personalized pillowcases. So you may not uh, want to use our patterns completely because our, we have a great basic pattern, but it is called the Go Cow, Go Cute Cows pillowcase. Yes. And it does have cows applicated along the sleeve. So Super if we're cute. going for a slightly more sophisticated grown up right. look, you might want to leave the cows off and do something like put a name on it. And just give you a, a heads up, uh, the cows are the owl die. So clever, right? Yeah, I do love we that can, about the owl. Dog. I mean, we have a we have the go farm animals medley that has yes. cows and chickens and pigs. So this was really fun. Um, this was just a basic um, pillowcase pattern, which is mm -hmm. what I love. And I just found some scrap fabric. I thought this was fun with the TV on it. And we used our three-inch alphabet, carefree alphabet, um, to just prefuse Emily's name and cut them out of there. And then again, we prefused it. Right, so we went ahead, we took our fusible, we ironed the shiny side onto the back of mm -hmm. our fabric, and then we put our fabric on the die. Now pay attention, because it depends on which alphabet die you're using, yes. whether you want to put your fabric right side up or right side down to make your letters turn out correctly. Yeah, and again, you could do something fun like call mom or call right. phone home or right. something. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> I feel like that's the best. That probably. Yeah. Probably. All right. Now, for something a little more sophisticated, how about the Go Morning Star Contemporary Quilt? So I'm going to walk back here. Okay. Um, so yes. this was actually a project that I made um, when we came out with the Morning Star die. It's made of grunge. Imagine that. But I love the contrast of this. I've seen this scrappy, Lynn Gibney made one that mm -hmm. was scrappy. Um, you made one for a wedding gift. Right, with graduated colors. And we turned that morning star block on point. Now, Erica, when I made this, there was no 12 inch setting triangles. It makes a 12 inch block. So I had to do like wicked voodoo math to do those corners. Not that that's why we came out with a 12 inch setting triangle, yeah. but it may have contributed. Yes, okay. So here's the block that we can make. Um, it's on a six by 24 die board. So it yes. can fit through any of our cutters. That's right. I have some pro tips for you. Yes. So basically you're making triangles. You're taking triangles to make triangles. Yes. So you wanna press your seams open. And then for this section here, you wanna add this side piece mm -hmm. before you sew yes. the block together 
because otherwise the side piece will hang over and you will have to trim it, which is ludicrous. Right, you don't wanna do that. It's gonna yeah. fit together just perfectly yeah. otherwise. And but we've both made remember. lots of these and mm -hmm. love it. I do love it. It's actually one of my favorite dies. Really again, is. And you could use those 12 inch setting triangles. Yeah. I love it. That's right. Well, we've got even more ideas coming yeah. up for you, but maybe our quilters are gonna need some fabric to make their projects. What do you think? I think so. Our good friends at Riley Blake Designs are helping us celebrate success by providing us with one selection of fabric to give away. Look at all of these beautiful fabrics. They're just florals and beautiful earth tones. This is a it's fantastic a, fat yeah. quarter bundle. Yeah. This is a whole quilt right here. You're this gonna is have so much fun exactly. with it. Exactly, and perfect for Earth Day, because look at those mm -hmm. earth tones. Total uses for the morning star, by the way. I know, we could totally talk about how you and I could use it all day long. Yes. But we're gonna give it away. That's and the right. winner of a Riley Blake Designs fabric selection is, drum roll please. Sarah T of Boswell, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Congratulations Sarah. Sarah, our team is gonna send this out to you. I'm excited about that. Well, we have a second sponsor for today's show. Our sister brand, Memory Stitch, is providing us with a Fuzz monster fuzz to give monster. away. And we're not giving you somebody else's fuzz monster. You no. get to send in your own shirts for this. Yeah, the fuzz monster has minky fleece borders and sashing with large panels to create the most comfortable and cozy t-shirt quilts. So here's an example of some really great t-shirt quilts. And then this, Erica, the oh, so, so soft. It's so soft. So you can get your fuzz monster in black. And then back here, mm -hmm. we have more colors. So Here we've got the gray. There's a gray. nice example of the gray. Yes, and the blue. And the blue. Um, when I did Ray's quilts, t-shirt quilts, um, we did it in gray. It's just perfect. It is such a great graduation gift. People are always talking about doing t-shirt quilts they for are. graduation gifts. Now, all you have to do with Memory Stitch is to choose the t-shirts to be included in your quilt. Decide on whether you want to cut those shirts yourself or if you even want Memory Stitch to cut them for you. Then send your shirts in to be stitched and have a memory of a lifetime created. It's as easy as one, two, three. The cool thing about this t-shirt quilt, the one I did for Ray, is he had shirts that the back was just as cool as the front. Yeah. And so I was able to cut, you know, cut the shirts and then they did the backs yes. and the fronts. And the, that is great. That's great, you're gonna love it. All right, the winner of a Memory Stitch Fuzz Monster is, drum roll please. Margaret G of Marietta, Ohio. Congratulations. This is a great gift. This is a great gift. Big shout out to Riley Blake Designs and Memory Stitch for sponsoring today's special event and helping us celebrate success. That's right. All right, quilters, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to see our behind the scenes videos and antics. We have so much fun. We have antics. And we have antics. And we'd love to share our AccuQuilt community quilts and stories on our social media pages as well. That's right. So be sure to follow us. Now quilters, remember we have this month's bundle releases available at their special introductory pricing, including April's Die to Try, which was the Go Bird and Birdhouse die that came along with two six by 12 cutting mats. This bundle's valued at $100, but you can get it today for just $69.99. It's gonna save you over $29. So perfect for like tea towels. Excellent for tea towels, I mean, towels. just think yeah. that, or mug rugs. That would yeah, be really, really cute. cute. We also have the Go Bird and Birdhouse Cutter Bundle, which includes the Go Bird and Birdhouse die and our Go Fabric Cutter Starter Set. This bundle is valued at $420, but you can get it today for $349 and some change, saving you over $69. Make sure you take advantage of this month's bundle special pricing while you can. Yes. All right, quilters, upcycling is a huge trend these days that anyone, everyone can appreciate. And we've got some great ideas for working oh, with yes. upcycled <sighs> denim that you are going to so love for the special grad. All right, so first of all, we have this great strip pizzazz. I'm trying not to knock over the set. This I appreciate that. <laughs> The whole, team the whole team appreciates that. Okay, so this is cut out of denim, different scrappy denim. Yep. And this was cut with the two inch strip mm -hmm. die, so it finishes to one and a half inches. And so you can use that die with the go or the go big. This is a great way to clean out your closets or yep. visit the thrift store. It is super warm and heavy, yes. right? 
So great for games or outdoor activities or picnics. picnics. Yep. Right? I think this is a great, like if your kid is going to Michigan, you should send him <laughs> one of these. Well, and denim is for anything, and that's right. a great way to upcycle denim. Right. So it's a great gift. It would be great for a college grad. It would be great for a wedding or for yes. a housewarming. Yes. Um, but another great gift that, oh, here, should, should, we, we, should, should we cut some strips? Yes, I thought we'd do that. I right. brought a ton of denim in, so let's do that. Okay. So let's talk a minute about getting your fabric ready when you're upcycling denim, okay? So this is what you want your fabric to look like before you cut it, right, Pam? Yes. You want to cut off those seams and the zippers and the pockets and all, all the other pieces. Two, all the buttons. All, everything before yes. you lay it on your die to cut it. Right. Because those are going to be way too thick right. for your cutter. Right. And once this is done, this is pretty um, thin mm -hmm. denim. Um, I, we're just going to lay it out on the die so that we get the most use from it. Yep. And sometimes I find, Erica, that, you know, maybe I'm going to cut it here. You know, right. cut it off here so that we can do that. Or we could and fold it back. We the could other way. maybe fold this one because it's a thinner denim. Yes. Yep. And until we move it up just a little bit there. Yep. Perfect. And I don't worry about lengthwise grain or anything like this on denim. I mean, you're going to cut your lengthwise grain because you're going to be cutting it right. pretty much the way you can. Right. And so you have a great story about how somebody called and said, oh, yes, we had somebody big. called and they called, they broke their go cutter because she was cutting one layer of denim and it came to pass that her one layer of denim included the back pocket. Okay, Ugh. this is not one layer of denim, so right. folks. That is two, but where those seams are, that's like six layers of denim, if not yeah. more, and that is not gonna work. No, and it's really gonna give you a hard time. It is. Okay, so we're gonna give it a little love. Slide that mat off, don't lift. Okay. Oh, look, fun strips. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. Yep. So you're all ready to go and sew strips together. And, you know, denim is all different shades, and that's just how you create your design. Right. And I'm going to tell you, quilters, I change my needle. Yes. When I you're going to want to use a heavy-duty needle yes, for that. when mm -hmm. I sew this. All right. And just keep in mind that if you're going to quilt it, somebody's going to quilt it. So I have a tendency... When I do denim, I just do a flannel back and yes. no batting in the center. Mm -hmm. And okay. you're going to want to press your seams open, too. Oh, all the time. Because otherwise your long armor will not be happy with you. Okay. Look at that. So another great gift for college grads or weddings or housewarmings are towels. So we thought, why not personalize those with a monogram or with a name using our Go Classic alphabet? Yes. letters and there's a free downloadable embroidery for that too yes. so, so i even have brought a towel i have brought a towel. towel erica's in a new house so she has new towels i have new towels that's right it's very exciting okay so i'm we'll, jealous yeah i totally am jealous so this is our uppercase alphabet die this is our classic alphabet this is the one we're giving away today that's right and i love it because all the letters are in one die. All the letters on the one die. And like I said, we do have that free downloadable embroidery. It makes it so easy to make yeah. rock star projects. Yep. All right. So what we've done is we've taken some of this um, denim. Again, we've pre-fused mm -hmm. it. Uh, make sure you always pre-fuse it. All right. Yep. And then you have a tip. And what letters are we going to cut, Erica? We're going to cut A, C, E. Oh, yeah. Because we're Because the we're the aces. So yeah. we're going to cut... Here, and I'm gonna use a smaller Is that gonna, no? but I can do a 10 by 6 by 24. Okay. Do you wanna talk about? Yeah, because you can always use a smaller mat. You don't wanna use a bigger mat. Okay. Right, because then it's just gonna. They're all there in a line, so we're gonna cut those. Now, if you are going to be doing machine embroidery, while Pam cuts this out, if you're gonna be doing machine embroidery on a towel like this, there is a product called, that's, uh, a water soluble film. And when you go ahead to get this ready to do embroidery on it, you're gonna wanna put your stabilizer into your embroidery hoop for your machine. And we sell stabilizer on our website. We do. Then you're gonna want to float your towel with the film over it on top of it. And then 
you can do the embroidery over that because otherwise you're gonna lose your stitches down in the nap of your towel. This is why I let Erica do those for me. There we go. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Ace. How fun is that? So a great way to just, again, we're upcycling, it's Earth Day. Think about those things. That's right. Oh, you could use those denim for those strippy baskets. Oh yeah, you could. Holy that would be smokes. great. Okay. Now, what's a new place without some fun pillows to oh, decorate? Yes. We have so many great free pillow patterns to choose from that are available at AccuQuilt.com. We just had to show off a few of them. Yes. So the first one is this one. I love Northwoods Medley. This is called Adventure On, and it uses our Northwoods Medley die, and we cut the bears out of wool and our trees Isn't that fun? Out of wool. It's got great texture. It's a nice big pillow, so it's good for laying on a bed, laying on a floor, putting on a couch. We used our 12-inch Cuban Companion angles, and it's the angles you want to show them, Erica, on how. So that's our triangle in a square center and the half rectangle triangles on the side to create our mountains yeah. that are the background. And somebody taught us that you should just make pillow covers, right? And just change out your pillows yes. for seasons. Yes. I think that's a good Then you could idea. make this in different colorways mm -hmm. or all different things. I like that. All right, we've got one more. This is one of Erica's favorite. It really dogs. is, it truly is. Okay. I'll so this uses off. the Go Hattie's Choice block on board die. And here's our Hattie's Choice block right here. I just love the colors. I just think it's fun it is. and sunshiny. And then it's combined with our eight inch uh, Go Cube Companion angles, which the kite shape, and again, that half rectangle triangle yeah. on either side of it. And it's such a complimentary design. I just love how it looks. I just think it's super cute. It really and is. Again, we have so many great pillows. We had that great pillow from the Tree of Life. Yes. The other oh, day. Oh, that's that, right. Um, Amanda did. And we just, I just think there's so many really fun ones. And yep. pillows are a great way to like spruce up an apartment. Right. Or spruce up anywhere. Yeah. Well, another go-to gift is table runners. So we've got a couple of those here to share as well. Let me grab them. We're going to get this one. And this one is actually a really easy, easy, super table easy. And it uses up scraps so nicely. This is our Go Prism Chev table runner. And this is made all with two dies. It's got the three inch finished half square triangle and the three inch finished quarter square triangle, which just happened to be the two dies that come inside the box with a Go Me fabric right. cutter. We have dozens of patterns on our website mm -hmm. that use just those two dies from yep. the Go Me. Yep. And again, a great way to bust up your stash, use up your scraps. I love the gray in it. It has a stripe binding, which is my goal for 2022. All of my Very projects true. do. And then look at the back, Erica. It's so fun with the polka dots. I just love Gosh. that. I love everything about this. And it's so sweet. And again, really easy. You can throw it in the mail. Oh, yes. And do a food gift card. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? That's a good idea. Mason Emily lived down the street from an Amazon market. Oh. Yeah, which is kind of fun. So you could do that. Okay, this is, um, you want me to hold this up? or you? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll hold it up. The Go Tulip Time Table Runner. And I just think this is a fun, bright project. Uh, but it's also a great basic basic table runner. So we have used our tulip die along with the stems and leaves to create the stem. So again, this is the tulip, but we've used the tulip shapes down here for the leaves as well. And, but you could change that out and you could use different colors and you could make it for really any season. Right, we used our 12 inch cube. So you could do stars for 4th of July and you, you could, could do, do hearts and hearts for Christmas Valentine's trees Day. and reindeer and all yeah, kinds snowflakes. of things. And of course, gnomes go for all seasons, right? All the gnomes. All the gnomes. All the gnomes. I think it's really nice that on our website, we have so many of these really great, just basic patterns. Basic yes. patterns for pillows and table runners and wall hangings. And our that, pillowcase, and our don't pillow forget. Cases. Yeah, yes. And you can just totally change the applique shapes that yeah. you're doing. All right, quilters, early in the show, we asked, what is your go-to graduation gift? There's no poll today, so just let us know in the comments section, wherever you're streaming from. Now, another thing that I like giving graduates are those seasonal things yes. like table runners. That way they've got a little seasonal decor to get them started. Even if 
the only thing that they have that's seasonal is that table runner. Yes. It's going to make it feel different for yeah, them, right? I think it's a great idea. And again, table runners are so versatile and they're so easy. You can make smaller ones because sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, you have a smaller table when you're first getting that first apartment. That's right. Yeah. All right, quilters, if you want more inspiration like what we're sharing today, there are three blog posts posted every week full of innovative ways to use the dies you already own and maybe just inspire you to get some new ones. Discover it all and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. All right, quilters, it's time to give away our final prize of the day. Let's give away another Go Classic 2-inch oh. alphabet uppercase set die. I do love this To a die. lucky registered viewer. All right, let's do it. Today's final winner of a Go Classic Alphabet die is, drum roll please, Catherine G. from Fremont, Michigan. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're excited for that. She will love it. All right, quilters, be sure to join us on Tuesday, April 26th at 12 noon Central Time for a new trunk show called Mother Sews Best. Eric and I will be sharing heartfelt gift ideas and inspirational projects to give to the moms or mother figures in your life just in time for Mother's That's Day. That's right. Plus, okay, hold this the phone. This is so exciting. This makes my heart so happy. No we're pun intended. So, we're so excited. Laura Pyland of A Slice of Pie Quilts, who made the phenomenal Exploding Hearts pattern. Yes. Um, which is all over social media. She is going to be joining us on Tuesday. Yes. And she's going to share one of her patterns. You don't want to miss out. Now, I've been working on one at home. Yes. I cut, listen to this, I use my Go Big. I cut over 500 quarter square triangles in less than an hour. Amazing. And I'm sewing it together. I'm super excited. But you are going to have a question. So I have been pulling my fabrics. I am not nearly as far along as Miss Pam. I've been pulling my fabrics, but I'm a little torn on whether I want to make it bigger and put it on my bed, mm -hmm. whether I want to leave it this size for just a nice throw quilt size, or whether I want to make it smaller and have it for a wall things. hanging. Yeah. So I'm counting on you all to help me and, and let me know what you think about my fabric choices and help me out on Tuesday. Yeah, be sure and join us on Tuesday. Register for that event. It's going to be awesome. That's right. Now, quilters, be sure you do register for that event because that's how you're going to get one more entry into our Spring Into Quilting Sweepstakes. That's right. The Sweepstakes Grand Prize winner of $500 in AccuQuilt Reward Points will be announced at next Tuesday's show. Don't miss out on your chance to win big. That's right. All right, quilters, we've got some special offers for you today. Now, to get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR code. It'll take you right to the site. If you don't have a QR reader, no worries. Just open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to go to the site. Place your order. Now, like we mentioned during today's show, take advantage of this month's launches and their bundle special introductory pricing. And we have the individual goose tracks die, which I think is so great. And I made a scrappy one, which was super fun. It's valued at $110, but you can get it today for $89.99, saving you over $20. Suddenly my scraps are overflowing, so I'm going to join Yes, in we that. were talking about that earlier. Ooh, I don't know what happened. Next, we have the Go Soaring 9-inch Block On Board Die Bundle. Now, this is a great bundle with some of my favorites. That Go Goose Tracks die joined by the Go Glorified 9 Patch, 9-inch nine finish, one of my all-time favorites. That's your favorites. And the Go Lemoyne Star, 9-inch finished, along with the Go Big Square, 9.5-inch cut, 9-inch finish die. Now, this bundle is valued at $370, but you can get it today for just $274.99, saving you over $94. Now, quilters, keep in mind, you will need a Go Big fabric cutter to cut the Go Big 9-inch finish square. So you need to have a power cord and not a handle. That's right. And that 9-inch square is perfect for applique shapes and yes. middles of borders. You can take 9-inch squares and alternate them. It just really opens up the creative possibilities it with does. those 9-inch dies. Plus, you can take $200 off the Ready, Set, Go, which is our ultimate fabric cutting system, or the Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter, which is the cutter Eric and I use every single day. That's right. You want to use that promo code, CUT200. Only one order can be, uh, one code can be used per order, but you can place as many orders as you want. There is no order police. That is right. But don't forget, you're going to get a free Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set when you spend $400 or more. No codes needed to redeem that offer. And... 
While you're at it, don't forget to sign up for our text messages by visiting AccuQuilt.com SMS. You're going to get exclusive offers that way that you will not want to miss out on. You don't. Our text messages are great. You can also find a variety of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer to find the retailer closest to you. Check out the store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. Now remember, you can always quilt now and pay later. So get your financing at AccuQuilt.com financing. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> Well, it is time for us to go so because clearly we have inspired hopefully you, but we've certainly inspired ourselves. We hope you all enjoyed today's celebratory inspiration and project ideas. Thanks so much for tuning in with us on this special Friday event. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is the time. Here's the link. Get everything you need before those items sell out. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. See you Tuesday. Bye-bye.